A few of you have been asking me to make another video that's more in depth on how to solve the white cross using the beginner's method, which would be making a daisy formation with the one yellow centerpiece and the four white edge pieces on every side. Apart from the amazing feedback I've gotten from my original 3x3 beginner tutorial, there have been a few individuals that don't recommend this way of solving the cross. As I told them, and I'm mentioning this again, there are different, some more efficient ways to solve the white cross, but this method is just to help you get familiar with the cube and in hopes you solve it for the first time. I keep a lot of the cube solving jargon out of these beginner videos to help lessen the chance of anyone getting confused. I hope you understand where I'm coming from and enjoy this short video on how to solve the white cross using the beginner method. After the cube is scrambled, the next thing that we need to do to solve the white cross with this daisy formation, we need to create the daisy formation. And how do we do that? We have the yellow side facing up, and on most cubes, like the one I'm using right now, the opposite of yellow is white. And hopefully that's how your cube is as well. Uh, if not, you'll just have to improvise, unfortunately. But for now, uh, if you do have yellow and white, the yellow is going to be facing up. And the next thing that we need to do is find the four white edge pieces that could go around this, uh, the middle part of the daisy. Looks like we already have one white edge piece already in place, so let's go ahead and find the other three. All right, so as we rotate the cube around, uh, we do see that there's one facing us. So let's go ahead and just move this left side up. So now we have two out of four. We just have to get these two now. Uh, here's another piece right here. So let's go ahead and just put this piece right here. And to do that, what we could do is rotate this front side left or counterclockwise, and then rotate this right side up or clockwise so it puts it into place. But we messed up this one. So let's just rotate this front and back so that we get that one back into place there. Now we just have one more piece left. So the edge piece is right here on the bottom. So when they're on the bottom, it's pretty simple. You just have to rotate the edge piece to the uh, to the side that it's supposed to go on, just right beneath it. So you could do 180 degrees, and then it'll go right into position. All right, so now we have a daisy formation. Don't worry too much about this piece. Uh, the main things that we're looking at is uh, this right here. We have the yellow in the center uh, facing upwards, and then we have the four white edge pieces on every side. And now what we need to do is um, create the white cross. Next is we uh, look at the color that's on the opposite side of the white, which is red on this side. So we need to move these um, layer, the bottom two layers to the red side. So now you see we have white, red, red. It's the same color, so that's good. So go ahead and rotate this front side 180 degrees. All right, rotate the cube. We have a white edge piece with a orange side. So let's rotate these bottom two layers to the orange side. So now white, orange, orange. Rotate 180 degrees. All right, rotate the cube. Uh, we already have the blue into place, so that's good. We have white, blue, blue. Rotate 180. And then the last side we have uh, white, green, red. So we need to rotate these bottom two layers to the green side. So now we have white, green, green. Go ahead and rotate 180 degrees. And then we could um, flip the cube over. And there you see it. We have the white cross. And we know that it's done correctly because we have uh, both of the same colors in the middle on every side of the cube.